Hi friend, welcome to my channel and today I will be showing you guys my secret recipe on how to make southern style mac and cheese. Alright, let's get right into it. So here I went ahead and I added some water to my pot. Okay, you guys, I added about 12 cups of water. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some Maggie, which is called Chicken Flavor Bouillon, but us Haitians always calling it Maggie. Maggie is actually the brand name, but whatever. Alright, so here we have our Maggie and our water. We're going to go ahead, we're going to put that on a stove at high heat, like at an 8, okay, like an 8-7. We're going to go ahead and let that water boil. Once that water comes to a boil, we're going to add our noodles. I'm using the elbow mac and cheese and yes baby if you like oh she using a great value brand i sure enough is yes i am using a great value brand baby do you see the prices of groceries do you see because you must not see baby right now the girl the, the great value brand is where it's at all right so i did use the great value brand you could use whatever brand you so desire all right the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to strain our mac and cheese we're gonna strain our pasta really it's not mac and cheese yet we're gonna strain our elbows pasta once it is done boiling all right and you guys do not forget that i'm gonna have the exact measurements for you in the description box below so have no fear your girl freddie is here then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take about one tablespoon of butter salted butter okay the, the black people kind of butter okay then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna melt that into there we're gonna mix it into there this is so our pasta do not stick together okay because if you don't do that what you're gonna have is a clump of pasta all stuck together and we don't want that business all right all right so then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna add about four tablespoons of salted butter again into the pot and we're gonna use that same pot that we used to boil our noodles because baby guess we ain't got no time to be washing dishes all day I don't maybe you do but baby I don't okay so we're gonna use that same pot okay then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get some all-purpose flour and we're going to add three tablespoons of all-purpose flour so we can make that roux for that mac and cheese next we're gonna go ahead we're gonna mix it all together and we're gonna let that flour cook make sure you let the flour cook baby because if you don't what's gonna happen is your mac and cheese ain't even gonna taste like mac and cheese it's just gonna taste like flour and then people gonna talk about you and talk about how you can't even make no mac and cheese because your mac and cheese tastes like a block tastes like a block of, 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 of flour okay so go ahead and let that flour cook you see the flour starting to change color it's starting to cook that taste is going away okay all right and we put the flour in it to help thicken okay all right so now we're gonna use some whole milk okay we're gonna use about two cups of whole milk and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna pour it into our pot we want to make sure we use whole milk okay then we don't want no one percent no two percent use whole milk all right then we got some medium cheddar we got some Cobra jack and we got some Velveeta cheese and we're also going to be using some four cheese mexican we don't see the cheese here yet but i'm going to be using it all right all right so then we're going to go ahead we're going to take some of that Velveeta. i used about eight ounces of that okay and we're going to just go ahead and chop it up into smaller pieces so that it can dissolve faster we don't got time for for, for us to be waiting for this cheese this big old block of cheese to melt okay so when you chop it up into smaller pieces all it do is it it melts quicker okay it's smaller pieces to melt it gets hotter quicker and it's able to dissolve quicker into your pot all right all right so we're just gonna go ahead put all of that into there and we're gonna mix it while that is doing this thing and trying to melt we're not just gonna sit around looking slow okay we're gonna be productive and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna shred our cheese we're gonna shred both the block of the cheeses it is always better when you shred your own cheese when you're making anything with cheese if you want it to be cheesy and gooey and rich it's better to shred your own cheese the cheese that's not shredded it comes in the bag it has a flour substance to help the cheese not stick together so that's why the cheese is not as cheesy so it's better if you shred your own cheese all right so now that we're done shredding our cheese we're gonna go ahead we're gonna check on our um root to see how that's going and there we go our cheese is melting then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take about a handful of the cobra jack and medium cheddar that we already shredded and we're gonna put that in there we're only putting a little bit okay that's it and that's all because that cheese we shredded we need it for the top of the mac and cheese okay we don't want to put that all into the root all right then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take some black pepper we're only gonna use about one fourth teaspoon of black pepper you could use more or less you don't have to use it at all it all it's all up to you and what you want to do 
because remember it's your food and you the one who's gonna be eating it baby all right all right so then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get our four cheese mexican cheese that i told you about i could not find this in the block so i just decided to use the one in a bag okay but if you find the one in a block and you could shred it by yourself baby go ahead and do that go ahead and do that baby that's the best way to do it but if you can't it ain't the end of the world okay just go ahead and take the one in the bag it's still gonna taste good all right all right so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the whole bag into there. At first, I put half the bag. I went ahead and I let it melt. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the remainder of the bag, okay? So we're going to use the entire bag. We're going to go ahead and we're going to let that cheese melt into our roux. So our roux could become rich and it could become thick and it could become flavorful and it could become all that yes child all right and then once our cheese has melted it's completely dissolved and all the cheeses became one as a unit we're gonna start adding some stuff to give our cheese some flavor the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt okay when we're done adding our salt we're gonna go ahead we're gonna grab our cayenne and we're gonna grab our paprika and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put about one take um one teaspoon of paprika and we're going to put one teaspoon of cayenne and this is just to give it a little color to give it a little kick it's optional baby really everything is optional because if you if it's your if it's your food if it's your food and you making it and you don't want to add something guess who don't got to add it you it might not taste the same i ain't gonna lie to you but you ain't gotta put it all right all right so we're just gonna go ahead we're gonna mix that all together you guys all right then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to add some onion powder and i'm gonna add some garlic powder so i'm gonna add about two teaspoons of garlic powder and i'm gonna add about two teaspoons of onion powder um this is is not a salt based seasoning onion powder and garlic powder is not a salt based seasoning so it is not adding salt to your food it's just adding the onion flavor and the garlic flavor giving it some flavor but as far as salt it is not adding any salt because those are not salt based seasoning so don't think you adding so much seasoning and it's going to be salty because even the cayenne and the paprika those are not salt based seasoning so the only real thing you added for salt was the salt okay all right so then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna add some complete seasoning this is my secret ingredient okay this is what's gonna make your mac and cheese all that in a bag of chips this is what's going to make your mac and cheese the block mac and cheese the block everybody from the block gonna want the mac and cheese this is what's gonna make everybody at the cookout asking who who made this mac and cheese who made this 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 is what's gonna make it do what it do i'm trying to tell you this is what's gonna make it do what it do okay so go ahead and add the complete seasoning then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take that root and we're gonna put it in the elbow pasta then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna mix it all together until they become one as a unit me personally i don't like to add all my root at once i like to add a little bit mix it all together then after i like to add a little bit more and i like to mix it all together then i like to add a little bit more and mix it all together okay that's to me it, 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 i don't know it's a science okay it's a science it's like one plus one is two and two plus two is four you 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 gotta add it a different way or it's like an equation you know when you're trying to solve the equation it depends on how the equation is is laid out depending on how it come out okay all right so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna mix that all together just like this just like that i'm trying to tell you everybody get the cookout everybody get the cookout gonna be saying who made these mac and cheese because baby they gonna be that far all right then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna add two tablespoons of sour cream okay two tablespoons i didn't even have no two tablespoons so i just use what i had but you you use two tablespoons okay then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna add a half a cup of whole milk and we're gonna slowly add it we're gonna add a little bit of it and we're gonna go ahead and mix it all together then what we're gonna do is when we're done mixing it all together we're gonna add a little bit more and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mix it all together and like i told you we're gonna use this is a half a cup okay a half a cup of whole milk not one percent not two percent not carnation milk but whole milk all right just like this like this like that okay trust me trust the process trust the process all right then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna mix it all together just like this all right then for my for my liking i felt like it was still missing that complete seasoning taste so i always like to add a little bit more i like to go ahead and add about one 
tablespoon of the complete seasoning and then you see this that was about like one teaspoon so i'm still gonna add a little bit more to make it one tablespoon but you taste this when you're cooking your food always make sure you taste it okay because everybody's salt taste preference is different so make sure you taste it and you tell yourself you you see if it needs more if it need less okay i felt like it needed more so i went ahead and i added it so in total i added one tablespoon of the complete seasoning okay and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna mix it all together who look how scrumptious that thing looking shy all right then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna set it to the side then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get our non-stick spray and we're gonna spray our aluminum tray you guys i know in the beginning i told y'all the great value is where it's at but do not use the great value non-stick spray i used that a long time ago i've been stopped using that because it has a taste and it's gonna give your food a certain taste so make sure you use the pam and if you don't have the non-stick spray just use some butter all right all right then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put that in our aluminum tray we're gonna cover it with aluminum foil and we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees and let let it cook for about 20 minutes boom when we take it out for 20 minutes this is how it's gonna look all right then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take my spoon i'm gonna mix it up a little bit mix it everywhere you know you know like this like that okay then when i'm done mixing it like this i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take my cheese the cheese that i shredded the medium cheddar and the Colbury jack what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that and you're gonna pour it all over the top of the cheese okay uh, the top of the uh, uh, of the macaroni and cheese okay we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put that everywhere at the top so this it could be pretty this could be nice and it could look appealing to the eye and this was gonna make the mac and cheese the mac and cheese because without this the mac and cheese kind of naked okay all right so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna cover it up with all the cheese that's why i said you save that for later okay and you could tell the difference when the cheese you melt it yourself as soon as you put it on there the cheese start melting already it's not like the other cheese okay it's not like the other cheese that's shredded for you okay then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take a little razzle dazzle of paprika and we're gonna put it in there we're gonna razzle dazzle a little bit of cayenne and we're gonna put it on there and this is just for color just to make it look more appealing and most sexy to the eye when it come out the oven totally optional you ain't gotta add it if you don't want to boo boo it's still gonna be the the, the 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 bomb dot com all right then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take this mac and cheese we're gonna put it under the oven at 350 degrees at the top rack okay so that it could get some color and boom this how it's gonna look when it come out the oven nice gold and brown baby who yes child yes child oh yes so now let's go ahead and cut into it and see how this thing look and let me just go ahead and give this food a moment of silence for the beauty that it holds yes child yes do you see that mac and cheese baby do you see that mac and cheese baby who because this right here friend it don't get no better than that who i'm trying to tell you everybody on the block gonna be asking who made this mac and cheese everybody at the cookout gonna be asking if you made this mac and cheese baby your man gonna get down on one knee and give you a ring baby i'm trying to tell you i'm trying to tell you and it don't get no better than that you guys thank you guys for watching do not forget to like do not forget to comment and go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos bye until next time